Yes, Mom. I was just calling you. I just, I need to, I just need to hear your voice, baby. I love that shirt! Oh Alright, bye, Ma. <laughs> hey, GQ Sports, this is Carl Anthony Towns, and these are my essentials. Hands down, if you want to be the best, you gotta learn from the best. This is a book that means a lot to me. It's The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. I read this all the time. I read it probably twice a year. It's about uh, a prophet that came into the city. All the people know the prophet. He's very famous and he comes and he speaks to them about life from all aspects, marriage, death, love, money, greed, you know, and knowledge is power. You know, you can have all the money in the world, money growing trees, that come and goes, but knowledge, wisdom, that's forever. I get this book for everybody. Anyone who knows me and I care deeply about you, it's a gift from me. Very easy to read, it's about what? 100, 100 pages? It's easy to read, great book, and it's cheap. So I mean, I don't get better than that. I always love reading. I mean, this is just one of the books in my library. You know, I take pride in having a library that's full of knowledge and full of great books. L reading all these different things, cultures, ideas, and kind of, you know, taking the best of what I feel is the best from each book and really implementing it into myself so it could be in my character, be in my soul, be who I am. We could talk about essentials here at GQ all day. We could talk about jewelry, we could talk about cologne, all this, but if your mind is, is effed up from the beginning, all that don't matter at all. The laptop. When I'm on the road doing business work, planning charity events, planning camps, planning things I could do in the community or just for my brand, and everything I, I need is here. I'm a big religious guy, you know, so I gotta have, you know, God is Dope. Shout out to the God is Dope family out there in Atlanta, Georgia. What I use mostly for is uh, watching movies and watching things that go better myself. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos about bettering myself as a person, as a man. Obviously an essential of mine, not just for the person on the outside, but for the person inside. Xbox, wow, okay, okay, now we're talking. This is a big essential of mine. I mean, obviously, I'm on the road, like I said, you know, I play uh, a game that requires a uh, orange basketball, 29.5, and it goes in the rim, and it takes me around the world. You know, when you're around the world, you know, it could get a little boring, so I always got the Xbox with me, my video game system of choice. Any an Xbox, we go back. Go back like graham crackers to a preschooler. I played a lot of 2K, obviously. Never myself. I'll never play as myself. I'm, I'm like one of those guys that's weird where they play a game and they're in it and I cannot play as myself. I only pick myself if someone's talking enough trash where I'm like, I'm gonna just have to whip your ass the old fashioned way with myself. So I really use the Xbox a lot to talk to my friends, you know, being in Xbox Live parties and stuff like that. It's a great to use to really have that quality time with my friends that I don't get much chance to see. Essential. Man, I hit that hard. You heard that? Jesus, my bad, Xbox. Yeah, of course we gotta do the cologne. Gotta smell good if you wanna be good. I'm a man uh, that likes to smell good. I like to be presentable and I like to have the aura around me, you know? So if I need the aura, I gotta make sure the, the cologne matches the energy I'm trying to put out and Louis Vuitton gets it done for me. People always love it, no matter whatever side of the world I'm on, people love this, so. Obviously the price is high, but you know, yeah, you gotta make that investment in yourself. I want top quality and that's what I got. I think it's more of like, you know, kind of got like some sweet tones to it, but it's real like masculine, you know? It has a great balance. Applying the cologne is just as important as getting the cologne, you know? So for me personally, what I do, I always do two sprays to the body and to the neck area, you know what I'm trying to say? And from there, I take one, one spray to the, to the hair. I mean, I'm seven foot tall. Ain't many people smelling my hair, but if they ever get the chance, they gonna definitely smell the swag, so. Definitely. Mom being Dominican, and you know, I like shiny things. Obviously, I think the essential for me has always been jewelry, you know. I always got some jewelry on me because, you know, you could be wearing a white t-shirt with basic pants and basic shoes, but you put some jewelry on it, man, it looks like something that came straight from Marty. So it's an essential of mine because anytime I really want to enhance my outfits, I want to enhance my fit, my swag, you know, I got to throw some jewelry on. So I don't got no tattoos, so I guess it's kind of like my tattoo, you know, having some jewelry on. I remember driving from New Jersey straight to Philly. I went to Main Street. I went to Shine Jewelers. Shout out to my man, Joe. Like I said, I'm a very religious guy. I bought myself a cross, a diamond pendant, with chain, and um, you know I still have it to this day. Oh, this the ring? A little Versace ring, you know, just something, something cool. It took me a while to get to wearing rings. It took me a while because I've been a guy who will not wear any ring if it wasn't a championship ring of mine. And I finally gave it into it this uh, this summer. Now I'm wearing rings on the pinky all the time. So I mean, I just always, you know. Damn, I got some extra jewelry in my pocket too. I'm a watch guy, so I always have a watch on me just in case. 
if I need to tell time differently than an iPhone. Uh, day Day 2, rose gold, Prezi. It's nice, it's one of my favorite pieces and I understand the value of watches, so you know. I didn't think it matched right now with the fit. I kind of like want to put too much on. I look like a rapper then, so I was kind of just like, you know, I have it with me because uh, after this, I got more things to do. I got more swag to announce to the world, so I got to go somewhere else. Business never stops. <laughs> the Teddy. One of the biggest essentials of mine. I mean, if anyone's seen my Instagram is Mac the Bear. As anyone who knows, I was real close with Mac Miller. Mac Miller, Mac. Get it? Got it. I always told Mac, I was always saying how if I could ever get one thing from him, I would love the teddy, the polo teddy bear he had in the music video, He Who Ate All the Caviar. And I was obsessed with that teddy bear when I was in high school and everything. I remember asking him like, I'll pay whatever to get that bear. That bear is like it. And he didn't know where it was. So I was like, you know, hey, if you ever find it, you know, we, let's talk about it. Obviously he tragically passed away. Next day, I go to a place called Round Two in LA. Shout out to Round Two. And I went to the vintage side. And so behold, just two days ago, I was there. They didn't have one. Just came in. Mac the Bear was there sitting there. Called my name. I answered the call. Bought him on spot. And now he's a big time essential of mine. And anywhere I go, I look at Mac and I feel like I got the strength to do anything. You know, there's little things in life you get that really remind you of why life is so special. And waking up every morning is so special. You go through bad times, good times, you always forget that just to even go through those times is a, is a special moment that you can't take for granted. And the bear helps me, Mac helps me uh, remember all that every day. God, it has to be by your headphones, man. You know, I travel a lot, do a lot of business. I don't want people to hear my conversation, the leak of the audio and the information I'm pulling out. So gotta talk on the low. Were you on the AirPod train at all or no? Nah, I really wasn't. I was always on the Studio 3s. I love those. And um, man, you know, Beats made these and I train with these all the time. I'm always boxing in them. I'm always like, you know, if I'm just shooting regularly, I ain't going nowhere without these. This is the absolute essential of the kids. You got that? You got that close up tool? If you're gonna have the headphones, you damn sure need to have the speaker. So, you know, I got the Beats pill speaker all the time on me, you know, when I'm on the road. Uh, we on the plane, we making jokes, we wanna have a little party, a little something to ourselves as a team. You know, I'm gonna turn the speaker on and you know, we gotta play some blaps out there, you know? So obviously some mainstream people like, we was playing Big Crit before we started this, you know, uh, J. Cole, Kendrick, Jay Z, you know, of course, I gotta give it to the GOAT. Listen to some underground people too, you know, uh, I got Cam Meekins, I got a dude from the Bay, Blaine, Cousin Stiz dropping his new album this week on the 14th. You know, the party's gonna be wherever you want it to be. You don't gotta go to no club to make a party. I make the party wherever I go, so I always gotta keep the beats pill with me, you know? If you're gonna have a Beats by Dre headphones and you're gonna have the speaker, obviously you need the phones, you know? One phone, two phone. If you ask me why I got two, it's none of your damn business. I got the Samsung too. I mean, I ain't gonna bring you the whole swag. I can't have all the phones out here, but a homeboy always gotta be on the screen at all times. All times. Gotta have that Mac Miller on the screen at all times. That's inspiration. Got all my music on here. You can't have the Beats by Dre's work without the music, without the playlist, without the sauce. So, you know, a lot of the times my phone is, uh, you know, you don't have enough time to have a notepad and pen, pencil, whatever the case may be, whatever your writing utensil of choice is. So, you know, I'm writing my ideas a lot here, creative things, you know, from YouTube skits with my boy Chucky Anthony, um, Instagram posts, ideas I want to do with the team, charity ideas, music, whatever it is, whatever I'm thinking. Um, you know, I just get to be creative in here and write what I need to write. Nothing in life gets done without some bread. So, always gotta keep an essential of mine is the wallet. You know, I said money don't mean anything. It's true, knowledge is power, but money helps you get some more knowledge and wisdom, so. I'm not trying to judge, I'm just saying that's a big wallet. I should tell you something. <laughs> so I got this from a special person and I appreciate it, so. It's got some uh, good things in here. Obviously, we got some Money, <laughs> you know, and my niece and nephew, shout out to my sister, you know, it's two of the most important kids in my life. Yeah, I always got them with me. So I always love when I'm like on the road or, you know, I've had times like I've been at halftime of games and I'm talking to them on the FaceTime because, you know, they're not doing something they're supposed to be doing or they got to do their homework or they got to eat their vegetables. And of course, they got to call Uncle Carl when he's playing on ESPN in Boston at halftime. So when you going about, where you keep your wallet, front pocket, back pocket? You know, it changes the game. I go by where, where I'm at, you know? 
I can't I can't lie about that. You know, certain places, you know, gotta keep that close. I'm a man and just go by that. Go by the wave of the, the energy in the, air, in the area. Talking about energy, well, that's essential. It's gotta be good energy. Nothing in life happens good when you don't got no good attitude or no good energy towards it. You know, you always gotta put yourself in the right spot. Always gotta put yourself with great people. When I talk about good energy, there's one person that definitely comes to mind. You know, when you talk about family and everything, you gotta talk about probably one of the closest people to me. My right hand man and Chucky Anthony right here. First of all, he walk like an OG, okay, a gangster. That man right here is a big reason why I'm able to do the things I do and the great energy around me that he brings every day and my friends and my family and my support. Because if you ever want to accomplish anything in life, good energy needs to be around you. Good attitude, good energy, great things happen. Bad energy, bad attitudes around you, for sure you're not gonna accomplish anything. Thanks, bro. <laughs> and you gotta be positive. And that comes with good energy. If you're not positive and you don't have a good approach to life every single day, you might as well just, you know, cancel yourself because it's not good you know it's you gotta have the good energy you know nothing good in life happens with a bad attitude and without good energy 